as a realist artist, you often try to figure out you know, what is the impact of the emotion of the feeling behind a painting. People often go into realism and artists go into realism because they just want to wow you with how accurate they can paint. And that sometimes becomes the point that they're trying to shoot towards. Just I want to show you like photorealism is that. You have see paintings of what they call photorealist paintings of the front of a car and it's just to show you the bumpers and the shine and the reflection. But there's no emotion. It's just like a photograph that doesn't have an emotion. It just takes the picture. But to get the emotion with realism, it became a question of mine. Because yes, when I was a young artist, I was challenged by trying to be accurate, trying to get it to look right. But once you get there, you want to have that power. And what does it in realistic paintings? And uh, it's, it's all in subtleties. And it's all in understanding what those subtleties are that we read from people and we look at people in the face and we see, we read people really well. But even in settings, it, it, it's in settings, like when you pose somebody at a certain place, what does that mean? And I've often found, like, like I was saying earlier, when I talk about paintings of women, people are on the ocean, the ocean has always been a place where I go to get a real good perspective on my life, to clean out my mind, to relax, to understand that my problems are not that big in comparison to the big world that we're in. The ocean is, is a very calming, wonderful place to, to really think and get a perspective on your life. If you're on the shore, once you go into the ocean, the, the steps into the ocean change dramatically. I mean, once, if you go in up to here, it's still safe and it's still nice. Once you get out into the ocean, like I do a lot of surfing, when you're sitting on it, now you're, in, you're not in your territory anymore. You're, there's things underneath you that can eat you. You know, you don't know what's going on around you. It's, it becomes a much more dangerous place. Go way out into the ocean, and it's even more dangerous place. But when I have women modeling on the beach, it's usually all about that introspection and thinking about your life. When you have someone, let's say, by a river, it's a totally different feeling because a river flows to a direction. A river is like a highway. It's got a path. It's going to go somewhere. And so you can't help but think when you're painting these paintings that this is, is telling you the story in the painting of what this person in the painting is thinking. That they are going somewhere, they're on a path in their life. That they're searching for that direction and they're, they're moving. You do someone on a, a lake. A lake is a much safer place. A lake doesn't have the sharks in, underneath it and stuff like that. It, usually the calm or smaller lakes that we're talking about. Um, and that's a much safer more comfortable, more safe out in nature spot is, is a lake. And a lake, you can then get, it's a, it's a different perspective is, as an ocean where you're thinking about the broad ex expanding of, of life as opposed to just the comfort of nature, which is what I, what I get when I, when I do lake paintings.